Welcome to today's lesson on adding and subtracting fractions. Today we're going to review how to add and subtract fractions with like denominators. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to begin today's lesson on adding and subtracting fractions by using the picture below. As you can see, we have Sam's house over on the left and we have a school building over on the right. Now Sam is walking to school and he gets two-fifths of the way before he has to stop and tie his shoe. Then he gets another one-fifth of the way before he has to stop again. How far has Sam gotten on his way to school? Well, we're going to start by adding a fraction with a like denominator. So we know that Sam made it two-fifths of the way to school and then he made it another one-fifth of the way to school. So how many fifths has he made it so far? Well, we know we only have five fifths in all, and he's made it one, two, three-fifths of the way. So Sam has gone three-fifths of the way to school. Well, when you're adding a fraction that has a like or common denominator, then you can add the numerators to get your answer. So since our pieces are all fifths, they're all the same size. So now we just need to add how many numerators or how many pieces we have in all. So we have 2 plus 1 equals 3 for our numerators. And our denominator is going to stay the same. We're going to keep fifths in each of these numbers because the size of our pieces aren't changing. So when you're adding fractions that have the same denominator, you're going to add the numerators and keep the denominator the same. When you're subtracting fractions with a common denominator, it's very similar to adding fractions with a common denominator. So we have a pizza on the middle of our screen. There are eight pieces in all. So we have eight out of eight pieces in all. Now let's say I eat two out of the eight pieces. So I eat one eighth. I eat two-eighths of the pizza. So we're going to subtract the two-eighths of the pizza that I ate, and we're going to find out how many pieces we have left. So we have one-eighth, two-eighths, three-eighths, four-eighths, five-eighths, six-eighths of the pizza left. Well, you're going to notice that our denominator stayed the same because each of our pieces stayed the same size. Our numerator, we subtracted 8 minus 2 to equal 6. So just like adding fractions with a common denominator, when you're subtracting fractions with a common denominator, you're going to keep your denominator the same, and then you're going to subtract your numerators. So 8 eighths minus 2 eighths equals 6 eighths. Let's go ahead and practice what you've learned so far in today's lesson. If you have 3 fourths and you subtract 1 fourth, how many fourths do you have left? Well, we keep the denominator the same and then we subtract the numerators. So 3 minus 1 equals 2. All right, let's try another one. If I have 1 sixth and I add a mystery number to this one sixth, and I suddenly have five sixths, what am I adding? Well, we know our denominators stay the same, and one plus four equals five. So we know that this must be four sixths. All right, let's try another problem. If I have seven ninths, and I subtract three ninths, how many ninths do I have left? Well, we know that our denominator is going to stay the same. We're going to keep ninths, and 7 minus 3 equals 4. That wasn't so hard. Let's take a moment to review what you've learned in today's lesson. When you're adding or subtracting a number with a common or like denominator, you're going to keep the denominator the same and either add or subtract the numerator. For example, one third plus one third. The denominator is going to stay thirds and one plus one equals two. 
when you're subtracting 5 6 minus 1 6 you keep the denominator the same with 6 and 5 minus 1 equals 4.